Towards a New Socialism. Appendix. Illustrative Calculation of Skilled Labor Multiplier. This appendix explains in more detail the calculation of the skilled labor multiplier discussed in the text. We first illustrate the calculation of the total embodied labor content of skilled labor. 1. On the part of the student, assume 4 years of study at 40 hours per week for 45 weeks per year, total 7,200 hours. 2. Classroom teaching. Assume 15 hours per week, 35 weeks per year, for 4 years, distributed across an average class size of 30, average of large lecture classes and smaller lab, labs, seminars, etc. Total per student, 70 hours. 3. Tutorial work. Assume 2 hours per week, 30 weeks per year of one-on-one -on -one tutorials. Over 4 years, total. 240 hours. 4. Educational overheads. Let us suppose this amounts to a contribution equal to the classroom teaching labor. Total 70 hours. Now examine the breakdown of this total labor content into simple and skilled. The student's own contribution is simple. The teacher's contribution is skilled. And let us assume for the sake of argument that the overhead contribution breaks down 50-50 skilled and unskilled. We then arrive at the following. Total labor content of skill production equals approximately 7,600 hours, rounding up, of which skilled labor makes up around 5%, rounding up again. The total embodied hours figure quoted above is a first approximation, in fact an underestimate as we shall see. Let us denote this approximation by TH0. Using TH0 we can construct a first approximation to the transmission rate of embodied labor on the part of skilled labor. R0 equals TH0 divided by AH.D where AH represents the annual hours the skilled worker will work once qualified, and D is the depreciation horizon in years. We can now use R0 to reevaluate the total hours embodied, on the assumption that the transmission rate for the teachers and others who supply the skilled input into the production of skilled labor is the same as that for their students once qualified. If the proportion of TH0 accounted for by skilled labor input is denoted by SP, a revised estimate of the total embodied labor is parentheses, 1 plus R0 close parentheses, SP dot TH0 plus parenth open parentheses, 1 minus SP close parentheses, TH0 equals open parentheses, 1 plus R0 SP, close parentheses, TH0. But this new figure for total hours embodied can now be used to re-estimate the transmission rate, permitting a further re-estimation of total hours, and so on recursively. The resulting successive approximations to the total labor embodied in the production of skilled labor form a geometric expansion, the nth term of which is, open parentheses, 1 plus R0 SP plus R squared 0 SP squared, and so forth, times TH0. Letting n tend to infinity, we can deduce the final limiting value of the total hours estimate, namely, open parentheses, 1 minus R0 SP, close parentheses, to the negative 1, TH0, and the corresponding final estimate of the transmission rate for embodied labor, RF equals, open parentheses, 1 minus R0 SP, close parentheses, to the negative 1, times TH0 divided by AH.D. 
remembering that R0 equals TH0 divided by AH dot D, RF may be rewritten as RF equals TH0 divided by open parentheses AH dot D minus SP dot TH0, close parentheses. Enabling us to calculate the final transmission rate directly. Using the above illustrative figures of TH0 equals 7600, AH equals 1575, and SP equals 0 0.05, we find that RF equals 0 0.5 for D equals 10, RF equals 0.33 for D equals 15, and RF equals 0.24 for D equals 20, as quoted in the text. In each case, the skilled labor multiplier is simply 1 plus RF. End of section.